Hey there folks, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about shot placement, specifically shot placement with handguns. That could be rifles and shotguns too, but let's focus on shooting bad people with handguns. Probably uh, 20 some years ago, I was introduced to the term thoracic triangle. And the school that I went to, the instructor explained, he said, think about it like this. Handguns are relatively poor fight stoppers, right? We know this, but we carry them because they're convenient to carry and we can't carry rifles everywhere, so we carry handguns, right? But if you're trying to stop a vicious human animal, a deadly human animal from hurting you or other people, there are certain places that we can put our bullets, our projectiles, that'll be more effective than others. And the way it was explained to me, the thoracic triangle, he said, the instructor took his hand and he said, look, everything that my hand is covering is important stuff, right? He goes, your heart, basically you got your nipples, your heart is right in the center. You used to think heart was over our left. No, heart's basically right in the center between the nipples. We have the lungs, we have the central nervous system that runs for basically from our brain stem down and so forth. He said, so... What we want to do here in training, and he had targets, he had steel targets that had thoracic triangles in them. He said, we want to put our bullets in a triangle, and that starts from the nose and goes down to the nipples. He said, one, two, three, like that. Now, most targets, most targets that we have today are very poor, let's say, in that regard. If you go to your local range, there's probably a silhouette target and the, the 10 ring is here, like right in the center, and then nine, eight, seven, six, five, and then they'll stop here and then maybe they'll give you a little bonus one in the head. This is an IDPA target. This is an official IDPA target. And so you get a minus zero for putting your bullets here and a minus zero for putting your bullets there. But if you put bullets between here and the neck, you get a minus one. Now, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist, but I'm going to go ahead and say that's kind of a mistake on their part. I'm not trying to bag on them, but if we're talking about the thoracic triangle, let's say this is the nose. And let's say you got a nipple basically right here and you got another nipple basically right here. So we draw a triangle from the nose to the nipples, this right here is your thoracic triangle. Think about it like a human. If you put bullets up here in this area, even with a 32, a 38, a nine millimeter or whatever, chances are better than not that the person who's doing bad things is going to notice and fornicate in a different direction. That's what we want them to do with the handgun. We want them to fornicate into another direction. So when you're practicing, you think, well, should, where should I put my bullets? If you go to these ranges and they have these, you know, three, four, five, six, seven ring targets where the, the X is here and then nine, 10, or, you know, nine, eight, seven, six, where the X ring is right down here, that's, that's wrong. And that's teaching you to practice incorrectly. So the thoracic triangle, if you have your standard IDPA target or IPSC target or, or human target, Figure that the nose is about right here, and you can just take a marker if you wanted to, or you can just imagine it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a thoracic triangle, and that is where you should put your bullets to get the best effect on human animals. Okay, before I let you guys go, I would be remiss, and I don't want to be remiss, if I didn't mention the student of the gun skill enhancement or skill maintenance target. Now what we've done on here is we've done very deliberately, we put shapes on the bottom with numbers so that you can use drills, you can call drills, circle, five, one, triangle, diamond, so on and so forth, so you can get some accuracy practice down here and you can run drills. Now up here on the top half we have a half silhouette, approximately half the size of a normal human. But in here, what we've deliberately done is we've deliberately created, and it, it's a little bit lighter. You have a dark black line here and you have a light gray, so it doesn't stand out too bad or too much. But we've deliberately created a thoracic triangle hit zone. And when I have people train on this target, I will tell them 
that depending on the drill, either anywhere in the half silhouette is a hit or anywhere in the thoracic triangle is a good hit. This is the student of the gun skill maintenance target available from shopsotg.com. Pick them up today. I'm Paul Markle. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.